Alright, so before we begin too much, when we're talking about, um, for depending on what style of wrestling or whatever you're doing, if it's judo, if it's Greco-Roman, we don't have to worry so much about leg attacks. So, you know, our posture is going to be very high up here because we don't have to worry so much about that. So if I really wanted to knock Jed over, you know, I don't have to worry about you know, me going for this and him shooting down and going for a low single here, right? So I, you don't have to worry about this kind of thing where somebody's going to be shooting in. Um, that was a bad low single though, but, like that. but anyways, um, so Judo Greco-Roman, you know, Greco-Roman, they're going to be picking up and whatnot. In Judo, they're going to be sweeping out the legs, but they don't have, you don't have to worry about those low attacks. Versus like uh, wrestling, we're going to be out here like this because we don't want, like if somebody starts to come in for a leg, Jet wants to be able to sprawl down on me, right? He wants to be able to get there really quick. If he's really tall and I start to come down for that, you know, he has a long way to fall to get into that sprawl position. So it just depends on what we're trying to do. Now, usually, especially in a no geese situation, when we get our grips here, a lot of times it's going to start with this kind of neck grip here, right? And I want to feel where Jet is putting his weight and what he's digging in with. So usually the first thing that's going to happen here, one is I'm going to try to go for inside control, right? I could be like this, I could be like this, but right now Jet doesn't have much leverage. If he really wanted to try to steer me right now, he's going to have a hard time doing that. So I've got, you know, this inside control and I can start to move him around and he's just going to be a little bit light for me right now. But what I want to feel is like if I pull him when he starts to resist, right? Because some people generally will, you know, they don't want to be out of control. So he's going to start digging his feet in. Or if I start pushing him, he might start digging his heels in, right? So that's what we're looking for when we're trying to decide what takedowns we're going to do is we're looking for that push pull. Now I could end up getting like this wrist grip and start going for a takedown. So one very simple takedown and using that, we're gonna start over here on this edge, is that if I can get this grip, wrist grip, I'm just using my middle finger and my thumb here. Two on one, I pull. If I feel him dig in, I'm gonna take his wrist and put it behind his ankle to hook my leg behind and just drop my hip. And Jack comes down. All right? Now, if I'm pulling and I come up and Jet builds his posture up, he's going to be able to move that leg. So I go for the sweep. Now he's going to be able to take the top position. So it's really important on this one that once I come digging in, I glue that leg down by drawing his weight down. Go ahead and pick up your leg, Jet. Pick it up. Right? He can't pick up this foot if I make it heavy. So once I feel him dig that foot in, I pull down in order to keep his foot glued into the mat, all right? 